in every other ethnic class, when you speak facts, in every other ethnic group, you become a preacher, a teacher, someone to, to follow. In the black community, when you speak facts, based on a person's intellect level, they're going to attack you. Now, in everywhere you get attacked. I'm not just uh, limiting, limiting this to black people. But it's worse in the black community because the black people aren't interested in education. Black people aren't, they, 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 their education is Twitter and somebody said, uh, for example, when, when this thing that was going out with Jamie Foxx and it was like, Jamie Foxx got ill after he went to Diddy's party. I, 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 I didn't believe that. I didn't believe that Diddy was trying to kill Jamie Foxx. I just, I just, I just wasn't going to believe that Sean Puffy Combs would say, oh, you're going to expose, you." everybody else said I was gay, but because you're saying it, I'm going to kill you. I never believed that. Now, Candace Owens dropped some facts about Jamie Foxx on the set of a movie, took the vaccine because he had to be vaccinated, took it under the guidelines, and that's what happened. He had a, a reaction to it. And I remember telling an individual about it. And I was like, did you hear what happened with Jamie Foxx? Blah, 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 blah. And I, and, and I, and I was saying, no, no, it ain't that. And then he proceeded to try to give me the nigger narrative. The nigger narrative was that Puffy tried to kill him because we were going to expose what goes on at the parties. And niggers believe that. Black folks will simply believe that. So when you speak education, this is why Donald Trump is not our president today when you speak intellect in the black community you are deemed insufficient to breathe when you speak facts in the black community motherfuckers don't want you living i remember on my personal facebook i uh, probably told you this before on my personal facebook i spoke out about i did a video on donald trump I didn't have individuals ready to chop my head off. If I wasn't, people, <laughs> people, if y'all look at my video that I posted about welfare on, over on Dad's Trading for Child Support, if y'all look at my video that I posted, welfare, you should not lose welfare, you should not lose welfare if you got, you should not lose custody if the person you're fighting is on welfare. And a woman came on there and said, I disagree. And then blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm, I get tired of y'all thinking that a character of a man because he got money. I came up under, I said, I, I responded to that. I said, I said, okay, you're a black female. You, you're trying to change the narrative. I said, hey, y'all, I got another one. And then I commenced to tear it into her ass saying, uh, you're trying to change the narrative. No, I'm not. And then she, I said, you're trying to change the narrative by saying uh, you, you're now questioning the, the, the man. I said in this video, the woman is on welfare. You mentioned none of that. Your whole thing is to attack the character of a man that has a job and has the home against a woman that's on welfare and living in Section 8. You said nothing about the, the downside of the woman. You said everything about the man. I said, that shit don't work over here. So let me give you an example that you can't answer. I said, explain to me how a person that has bad credit get a car loan. I, I did another example too, I can't remember. I said... And then I said, only you and a black woman with your logic would think that the worst situation should land, have a landslide win or even be in the game. She, kind, she came back and said, I'm not trying to change the narrative. I responded, yes, you are trying to change the narrative. You know why? We're not talking about nothing I said in the video. She never responded to that. And that's, that's how it is. When you speak facts. So now we're at a we're at a point where the Democrats are in office. And now for the first time, I get to shut the fuck up. Because the Democrats is doing everything that I said they was gonna do. I, well, 
that I said. They're doing a lot more, but here's what I said. I said the reason why the Democrats are opening the borders is because y'all don't understand minority, the word minority. I said the reason why they are letting, they are open up the borders and giving our president, Donald Trump, at that time, a hard time, they want to open up the borders because they want to turn, they want to turn over, they want blacks to surrender the term minorities. And once that happens, blacks ain't going to qualify for none of these programs no more. I said that when Donald Trump was in office. So do I get that back and saying, do I get to sit back and now say, oh, you didn't see that coming? So here's what I said on my personal Facebook. One day y'all dummies are going to learn that when a person has a third eye speaks, y'all shut the fuck up and let them and listen. I said, because it's obvious because I'm an introvert. I don't go out and shake my ass and party. I see things different than y'all. But instead of just following behind me, you question me. Like I was saying, I, I, I did a video on Donald Trump and got attacked. I did a video on the Democrats and I got, they ain't like that. Those are the old Democrats. Uh-uh, they ain't like that no more. What aren't you seeing about these people? Now, we got black women, oh, oh. black women saying, y'all are evicting us and we help be here. And that ain't fair. That ain't fair. Yes, it is fair. You don't invite a rattlesnake into your fucking house and he bites you and you scream, that ain't fair. You don't do that, dummy. You don't see a government a class of government that says we want to open up our borders and no other country does that and the Democrats was doing it and do you turn around and put them in office and then scream that ain't fair. What wasn't fair was your judgment, your lack thereof anyway. What wasn't fair was the fact that you just looked at things and said, oh, you know what, I'll take all that. I'll just get this racist man out of here that wasn't racist at all. So I'm glad Democrats are in office right now. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Oh, you, you heard our, you heard our, we are in the trillion, the deficit. Oh my God. We, we, oh, you heard the value of the dollars going to shit. Yeah. <laughs> Democrat. Oh, Biden is all, they, they want to get him out of office. Uh, cocaine. <laughs> oh man. You didn't see this coming. Right. Because, because, because black folks, Black folks think that delusion has lines. Yeah, yeah. You think delusion has lines. You think a person is delusional in just one area. You think that a person is fucked up in one area. You think that a person will just want to try to kill you just when they got a knife. Take the knife away from them and y'all all good. That's what you think. <laughs> They're black people. I'm so glad a Democrat is in office.